Good morning, Mill Middle School. Happy Friday. It's Mrs. Jonas. Um, teachers, I'm going to ask, I know sometimes kids are moving around during this portion, but I'm really going to ask that you settle your class down. These announcements really need to be heard by every student at Mill so they understand the changes that are coming when we come back from break. So I'm going to give you just a few seconds to get everybody settled. Uh, students, you have seen lots of construction happening. You've seen the trailer go up out front um, and you've seen some maybe some signs that have gone on the doors. Some big changes are about to happen Friday at four o'clock at Mill. So you will be heading out for a week of spring break and a lot of great construction is going to start. So these pieces are very important. I will share this information with your parents as well, but I really need you to understand the changes. So when we come back from break, you know what to expect. So this will be the last Friday announcements ever made for Mill Middle from this office. My office office will now be in the trailer um, until school starts next year, uh, but you will see Mrs. Weir and myself, we will certainly be in the building. Please don't think that you won't see us, okay? So we will be in the trailer uh, when you return from spring break. The other people that will be in the trailer with us are Mrs. Maggie R from the main office and Miss Lanigan from the office. Students who do video announcements, pardon me, students that do regular announcements, they will come to the trailer to do that and I will work with Mrs. Ganji to make sure that that is something you're really comfortable with. Unless, uh, it, it's going to be a pretty rare circumstance that students are going to be coming out to the trailer. So if you need to see me, you cannot just come out to the trailer. Teachers are going to be given very specific instructions that students are not to leave the building to come and see us unless we know that you're on your way. So students do not just head out door two or door one thinking you're going to come to the trailer to see us. Chances are that Mrs. Weir and myself will already be in the building. And so you'll be able to see us if we know where you are. So please do not do that. Um, the only time that you will be leaving the building to come to the trailer is when an adult is walking with you or I'm walking with you, Mrs. Weir comes to get you, etc. So please make sure you understand that. So again, this whole wing from the main office that's behind me where students you would come for lost and found and things like that, all the way to the speech rooms will be blocked off when you come back from spring break. Our speech pathologists will be working with students in different rooms across the campus and they will share that with the students that they work with. And our nurse has a very different location. If you can imagine where the learning lab is, even if you're not a learning lab student, think of where our um, cafeteria is. Right next to the serving lines, there is a door that you've seen lots of um, people go in and out of. That is our learning lab. But come the first day back from break, that is actually going to be where our nurse is for the rest of the school year. So students who come to the nurse regularly, uh, please make sure that you are not heading to this nurse's office because it will no longer be functioning. You need to head to the learning lab. Teachers that are sending students to the nurse, please ensure the first few weeks that that student knows where the nurse is um, because it is in the new learning lab location. Mrs. Guadagna and the learning lab are going to shift to Mr. Gamero's room in B3 and they will be sharing that space for the rest of the year. So some pretty big changes, okay? What's very exciting about it is when all of the construction is said and done, eighth graders, you won't get to see it, so you'll have to come back and visit us. But our current fifth, sixth, and seventh, you will come back next year to a really different front looking um, main hallway. From the outside, you will not be able to see any changes, but lots of good changes on the inside and it's all to make us more secure. So so next year, our attendance clerk will be inside the main office, not in a table outside. So lots of really positive changes, okay? We just have a few months of construction to get through, and I'm really grateful that we have good weather. So we'll be able to um, accommodate all of this construction so it can get underway. The last piece that I want to mention to you is I know that there's changes, but expect the same level of support that you would. So expect um, Mrs. Weir and I to be here. She'll be back from spring break with us. Expect us to be in the building and all around your teachers, and all of you will have the exact same access. Access, it's just a different location. So if you need us, you can always go to um, Mrs. Ryan at the attendance and she can call out to the trailer. Every guidance counselor can reach us out there, every teacher. So please don't feel like just because the office and the secretaries and the admin are in that building that you don't have access to us. It's the same people, it's the same position, it's just a different location while we get through construction. So it's really important for you to be aware of that along with the nurse and along with the learning lab. So lots of changes but really exciting ones. I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic spring break. I hope that you either do something really fun or get to sleep in and get to relax, do exactly what fills you back up. When we come back, we have really just a little less than a quarter of the school year to finish out with some really exciting activities that are being planned, whether it's field trips or end of grade, eighth grade activities that are getting finalized and ironed out. So please enjoy your spring break and we will see you back on Tuesday, April 19th. Bye everybody.